Hello CNC students. In the past we've done a lot of videos in our lab where we're actually showing machine functions and even in our classroom where we're showing some of the basics of machining. I thought we'd start a new series and on our Mastercam file. So we're going to go over uh, some basics of Mastercam. We're going to start with just the interfaces, how to draw simple geometry, how to create solids, then we're going to move farther into uh, advanced features, toolpathing, creating programs, um, and everything we need to know to make MasterCAD fully usable in both mill and lathe sections. So I hope you enjoy. In this video, we're going to discuss how to do a couple of simple wireframe creations. So if we go up to the top of our screen in our wireframe, uh, click the wireframe button. You'll see we get a menu with all the different types of wireframe we can create. And we're going to pick these first one. Today we're going to talk about points and bolt circles. So simply by hitting the point position screen, we get this pop up for point position and it's asking us to create a point at a position. And you see as I do that, we're just creating random points in space at this point. You can type in directly the X and Y chord into those positions and have them create at specific positions, but I'll show you another option also. In our home screen, uh, there is an analyze entity. So if we select the entities to analyze, this pop-up tells us the exact location in X and Y, and these can be altered. So if we want that position at X minus 1.5 and Y one inch, and we push OK, that position now moves. If we analyze it again, you'll see it's at that location. And we could do that with any of these points in the screen. We can change to an XY 1.0 and a Y 1.0. And this point shifts as we alter. So that's simple point creation. Let's clear my screen of these and go back into wireframe and talk about bolt circles. Bolt circles are a common pattern in manufacturing when we click the bolt circle button you'll see when we get a pop-up with a lot of options and we're going to talk about those in a minute right now I've turned on my work coordinate origin and the first thing it is asking me for is to select a base point so we're going to just select 000 as our starting point and you see when I click that we're getting a pattern already but what is this pattern well right now it's eight holes on a 10 inch diameter and the arc diameter is half an inch all of these are editable you'll notice that your screen is blue your entities are blue means that they aren't live yet so let's change this to a six hole pattern on a five inch diameter and we'll say our arc diameter is 0.375 and still I can go and I can enter a variety of options even my start angle so by start angle they're referring to the first hole in this pattern which is at here at 3 o'clock I can change that to a 45 degree pattern and you'll see that my start angle rotates accordingly those are our options for bolt circle let's say yes to that and highlight these two buttons uh, when I hit the green button it says okay that it will accept all the options that I put and it'll come out of this command screen if I were to hit the blue button 
that means what I've done is good, but I also want to create another one. So let's try that. And these options are available in all our geometry pages. So it's asking me for a new base point. Let's stay in the center. And it looks like it's gone to the old one, but if we change this diameter to eight inches, you'll see that we have our, our first set of both whole circles that we created here. And this is a new set. Let's change our start angle to zero. And we'll make this a 12 hole pattern. with quarter inch or 0 0.250 diameter holes. And you see I have another, and I can continue to okay and create new operations here, or I can just put um, okay to this. So those are basic operations for creating points in both whole circles.